Hey guys, welcome back to Money Matters. In today's video, we're going to look at some of the lottery winners who won big but lost everything thanks to the lottery curse. Let's get started. Number 1. Billy Bob Harrell Jr. $31 million Billy Harrell was a Home Depot shelf stocker who on June 28, 1997, won the Lotto Texas jackpot of $31 million. However, Billy and his wife were in the habit of spending too much, too fast, buying houses, cars, and other luxuries for themselves and their family. The money continued to dry up as they continued to donate heavily to their church and individual members of the congregation. Number 2. William Post $16.2 million William Post, also known as Bud, won $16.2 million in 1988 in the Pennsylvania Lottery Jackpot after buying one of the winning tickets. Unfortunately, the lottery winnings did not last long and when he died in 2006, he was broke. The cause of losing most of his winnings is his lavish spending, for he bought cars, boats, houses, and two-engine planes, even when he lacked a pilot's license. And sadly, one year after winning the lottery, he was one million in debt. Number 3. Jeffrey Dampier – $20 million Jeffrey Dampier won $20 million in the Illinois Lottery Jackpot with his ex-wife in 1996. Their marriage did not last, and they divorced and split the winnings 50-50, decreasing the amount by half. Also, he gave millions to family members and friends and invested in a popcorn business. Sadly, he lost all that was left of it nine years later, after his sister-in-law and her boyfriend kidnapped and murdered him. Number 4. Janet Lee – 18 million Janet Lee was an immigrant from South Korea, working at a hair shop, when she won $18 million in the 1993 Illinois Lottery. Janet lost the money by donating it to political, educational, and social causes, and did nothing much for herself. Sadly, although her donations were well-intentioned, she gave too much, and eight years later, after her lottery win, she filed for bankruptcy and was $2.5 million in debt, with less than $1,000 in the bank. Number 5. Shefik Tamaj $6.7 million Shefik was a worker at Yuma Proving Ground, earning $10.75 per hour until he won $6.7 million in 1988, with the last $5 he had till payday. Unfortunately, in 2005, Shefik declared bankruptcy and cannot afford retirement. He lost everything after spending on his mom and his sister and fulfilling requests from friends, family, and strangers as well as investing in gas shell stations, which did not do well and sunk him into debt. Number 6. Victoria Zell – $11 million Victoria Zell won the Minnesota Powerball jackpot in 2001 of $11 million with her husband, but by 2006, she was penniless and is currently serving seven years for vehicular manslaughter in a Minnesota prison. She wasted most of her money on alcohol and drugs, and was charged twice with possession of a highly addictive chemical substance known as methamphetamine. Number 7. Ed Gildane Ed Gildane, in 1993, won $8.8 .8 million in the Texas lottery. However, his fortune did not last, as Ed gambled all the money he had from the winnings. Sadly, at the time of his death in 2003, he left his wife in debt. Number 8. Jack Whitaker $314.9 million Jack Whitaker was a businessman from Virginia who, on December 25, 2002, won the Powerball jackpot, amounting to $314.9 million, which at the time was the biggest lottery prize in history. Unfortunately, John Whitaker's money ran out as he reveled in the ability to give handouts. For instance, he donated loads of money to churches, strangers, family, diner waitresses, and his local strip club and had several brushes with the law and personal tragedies costing more of his money. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.